Hi, I'm KT. What I'm saying, so I have a video for you guys on a new Swordfish rail system. Let's check it out. So, we we do all of the rail we have now, we produce from nine inches to 20 inches, and you're able to customize any guns you have and get a best look possible based on the handguard you're using and the body length you're using. I'm gonna show you some guns and then can compare the difference between each one of them so you can see what we did. All right, let's try, start with this one first. This is on the bolt, and you can see how we run the rail all the way to the top right here to all the way to the back and with the whole length of the rail so what you do is you want to measure the get the appropriate length of course measure the body of your marker from end to end and then add in the length of the handguard that will be your total length and then get the length closest to the measurement that you have say you're doing the total measurement is 12 and a half inches of course you want to get a 12 inch rail so that we have a little short but not so much that it gives uh, a gap there for barrel wise you want to measure from the body to the front of the block here the, the block here is two and a half inches so say from the hand guard to the front is 12 inches then you want to get a barrel that's about 11 inches you don't want the barrel to protrude beyond the front of the block you can but to, for us when we build this swordfish we want it to be flush as possible so this is on a bolt next one here this is on a vortex this vortex is really great this time we actually incorporate this little slot in between here so it exposed some displacement for a charging handle in the front and this same rail is made for your MG100. Before the MG100 what happened is the rail gets in the way of this hopper adapter so we'll make a displacement right here that allow you to put some space between the block right there and you don't have to kind of remove any material anymore you just put it on secure it down and you're good to go for the mg100 there's the whole length version so you have a choice of the short version rail or the long version now these two options only work on mg100 you can use an other option too but you can see there's only work in the back right here it takes only two luck in the back the front we didn't put the luck in the front because the hand got removable so we left that out for you on all the other version, it comes with three different lugs. So you can see right here. So I have two in the back and then one in the front. We made this because the future will expand out another accessory coming out in the future as well. Give you more options. Next one, this is on a 468. Just gonna go show through different kit right now. This is on the T15. Got some good in the back here to show you. This is an 18 inch rail length we're putting on the bolt. I'm sorry, the blizzard bolt action. So you can see even when we use the 20 inch version, it still have a gap right here. So it best you guys measure the best length that you have. You can put, if you move this forward a little bit, of course you can put in like a scope right where the gap is. So you kind of measure where you want the rail to be. Basically allow you to kind of attach any option you have. This one is on the CQMF or the M5. This one right here, it's on the Tipman TMC. This next one here, this is on the M17, just the base model. Right? This is how we measure really perfect to the back, almost the rear end of the back here. And most of them, that's what we did too, like on this. On this TMC, how we bring it all the way to the back near to the end there. We didn't put this little lug in the back, this little slot right there that there's no slot full of lug to go to. You can either uh, leave it out or get a file, put it in, or get a shorter one. We decided to go all the way back as far as we can. So a lot of options based on what you want to build. Next one here, this is on the Stormer. Stormer really hard to get handguard. So we add the quad rail with the store the swordfish to hold it by the lugs so right now the handguard being held by the barrel adapter and the lugs really nice this last one here is on a stormer and you can see on the storm right here we actually cut the front of the stormer handguard about two and a half inch kind of bring the 
the block close as possible real really nice flush with the barrel right there so you don't you, you don't have to cut it if you do want to cut it just plastic you just get a hacksaw cut it off takes a few minutes and you can customize your gun based on what you want to put in that's the swordfish handguard guys and the rail system for it like i said you can customize it any length you want measure the body the handguard and get your displacement and get the best length possible all right guys any question comment concern visit the website mcsus.com and we'll support you thanks for watching Sports.